Hello, hello, and welcome back to the vlog. Um, all right, hello. August is falling on the dry button. Um, August can crawl now, which is exciting, but also terrifying, so we're locked inside the nursery. While I film this quick update for you guys, I've been gone for a little while without much of an explanation. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I, I missed an upload because I wasn't feeling very well. And then I just like never, I never started feeling better. Um, and I don't mean physically, I mean mentally. So I thought I would just come on and tell you what's up. <laughs> I don't really feel like I owe you an explanation so much as I feel like I, the more I've thought about it, the more I've wanted to talk about it. My YouTube channel has always been a space of vulnerability for my mental health. The whole thing started as a way for me to discuss the way that I recovered from anorexia. So why stop now? <laughs> Not that this has anything to do with that, but more so um, mentally I've been having, I just realized I have all of these hair ties on my wrist. That was insane, but I have nowhere else to put them now. I've been having a rough go of things and I'm hesitant to talk about it too much now only because I'm not over it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm in the middle of it. Um, that being said, I'm starting to feel like I really want to get back into my regular routines, which of course means uploading to my channel again. And while I really think it would have been fine for me to disappear for a few weeks and then come back, most people probably wouldn't have even noticed. Um, I just, like I said earlier, I think, <laughs> I really wanted to talk about it. Should I have written the script here or an outline? Maybe. If you're all caught up on the Rachel Rambles YouTube page, hello, um, then you'll know I've been weaning off of breastfeeding. I breastfed my baby for six and a half months and I'm still weaning. Um, he's about to be seven and a half months here. So I think like probably in total, the full weaning process will have taken like from the time I'm done, like a month and a half, two months. I wanted to go really slow because I wasn't in a rush. Um, I was doing it at the time, mostly because like I'd only told myself I was gonna breastfeed for six months and then see how I felt. And I was feeling like, you know, I just wanted to get some of my own time, my own life back, be able to leave August with babysitters and not worry about like the pumping of it all. Um, breastfeeding was going well, but anyway, a lot of reasons I wanted to wean that are my own. So I've been weaning now for like a month. It has created um, a mental health crisis in me. <laughs> I, um, I didn't know that this was a thing that happened. So I think more than anything, and if you're wondering why the camera's moving, it's because my baby is crawling and he is just all over the place. <laughs> yeah. One second. August. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I gave birth in March and um, I didn't really get the baby blues, which is supposed to be like sort of the like sadness that you can experience in the first week or two after giving birth, just after you um, your body rids itself of the placenta, something about your hormones. I don't really understand the science behind it. Different than postpartum depression, but something you're supposed to experience after birth. That never happened to me. I was like in an intense state of euphoria for like several months after giving birth actually. Um, I never got postpartum depression in the first few months. It's okay, Bubba. It's okay. Yeah, I uh, I thought for a long time that I kind of got lucky mentally because I don't have the healthiest mental health history. Um, I was worried for myself after I gave birth, but it all ended up being kind of okay. Um, and then I decided to start weaning breastfeeding and I did not know I just didn't know. I wasn't informed. I wasn't educated that that is like a secondary sort of hormone dump. And um, again, I don't really know the science behind it. I'm not a scientist. I'm just a girl. And and actually, as a result of that, I didn't really know what was happening. So I am I am sort of um, someone who experiences intense mood swings. I'm bipolar type two, so this is not something that is like completely abnormal for me. I also have been experiencing really really intense PMS for my periods since I got my periods back after birth. So when I first start, started feeling like, hey, booger, come here. This is a mommy toy. Hey. So when I first started experiencing like intense sadness, intense irritability, intense anger like a month ago, I thought, well, at first I thought I was in my period, which I think I was actually. <laughs> and then um, it didn't go away after I got my period, which it usually does. Um, I can usually like predict my moods pretty accurately based off of where I'm at in my cycle. 
Um, so then I thought I'm getting, I'm heading into a depressive bipolar episode, which is another thing that I'm well equipped for. Um, but none of my tools were working and it just kept getting worse to the point where like I was angry all the time. I was paranoid and anxious and sad and it was really hard for me to get out of bed every day. Like having August was the only motivation that like kept me like going through the motions every single day. I went like days without taking a shower. I um, really would just like get up, feed him, play with him, change his diaper, put him down for a nap, lay in bed staring at the ceiling for his entire nap waiting for him to wake up and then like just just like do what he needed basically and nothing more for um like weeks other than of course i always work on mondays and fridays because i have childcare those days so that was really like it and then i worked mondays and fridays <laughs> I to, yeah i gotta make money so um that's what i've been doing the last month is really just um uh, surviving i guess <laughs> Um, and I'm now seeing a therapist, which is helpful. I hadn't been before because like I said, I'm in a really good place for a long time, but uh, I love therapy. <laughs> it solves a lot of my problems in the past. So I'm, I'm hoping that once I sort of wrap my head around things again, I'll have like a more extended update on the situation. I don't know when that'll be sometime in the future, but that's where I've been. I've been depressed. <laughs> um, and it is as a result of weaning i mean it must it must be there's really no other major uh example of it and i will say that like i like i said i touched on this in my last vlog and i had a ton of comments and a lot of people messaging me on instagram saying like the same exact thing happened to me when i stopped breastfeeding I, and nobody told me that this was gonna happen and like it was so much worse than when i gave birth and yeah i um it's not been great i took a shower today <laughs> i did my hair i got dressed and do my makeup because like i don't have time for that shit but, hey booger, it's been something. I've only really left the house when like people are a bit, we've had some people come to visit and I've had to like mask and fake it. And uh, yeah, anyway, like being a parent has like really kept me going and it's made me realize that like, you know, I can survive for my children through situations like this, which is lovely. I would say that I haven't been this level of depressed, um, I don't even know, since maybe I was like a teenager, um, or maybe a teenager, like in my early 20s, that's when it was really bad. The good news is, like, I am older and I do have an understanding of what depression is, and especially once I learned that it could be brought on by weaning, like, things started clicking for me, it didn't make things better, but it, I like someone who like likes to have a good understanding of like physically and mentally what's going on. I also kind of have to talk about my mental health in this almost like flippant sort of like third person way. It's the only way I really know how to communicate with people who aren't my therapist or my husband about it because otherwise I will just be sitting here crying and I don't want to cry in front of August. It upsets him. Um, I also... I don't know. It's very real for me right now, so it, it makes it a little bit harder to have some distance from it. That being said, I just wanted to let you guys know that this is something that can happen, apparently. You can wean from breastfeeding and uh, get really fucking depressed. <laughs> um, I know that postpartum depression can, I think, hit at any time in the first 18 months or something, and it's still considered postpartum depression. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I'm working on me, and I'm getting myself better. You know, I was just really getting into these, like, darker thought spirals about, like, not being a good mom and not knowing what I was doing and being on the internet was making it really like way, way worse. I'm a really small creator and I absolutely love the community that I have built here. I would say like 98% of the feedback that I get is like neutral to positive. That being said, at the same time, I'm connected to a much larger creator who gets a complete, like, a lot of just completely undue and misguided and ridiculous hate. And as a result of that, I also get a little bit of, like, the more exposure that, that gives me some hate. And so I was just having such dark feelings and dark emotions and dark thoughts that I knew that putting myself out there and being vulnerable, like I like to be on my channel, was, um, was going to potentially lead to some feedback that I just didn't want. And it sucks because like night, like I said, 98% of the feedback I get is so great. But anyway, that's why I ended up taking a much longer break than I intended. 
Doing YouTube is my favorite hobby. It's also like literally a job at this point. Um, not something that I really should or could like put off, but I just knew that um, if, if something bad was said about me or whatever, like normally that kind of shit just rolls off my back like you don't even understand. It, it barely impacts me to the point where it's often amusing, but I was not in a place where it was gonna be amusing to me at all. Um, it was going to be deeply upsetting to me. <laughs> so I just thought, let's not endanger my mental health further by putting myself out there yet. I don't know, I'm still in it, but I'm feeling better feeling every day like I'm picking myself up a little bit more. I've had a lot of like realizations about myself and like I feel like every crisis I go through is like met there to teach me something new. I'm still learning what that is this time but all I know is that like I was having a lot of good like I was having a lot of bad feelings about like my capacity for parenthood that I have like reaffirmed myself are were just like figments of my own imagination. Um and anyway I don't want to get too off course here. The point of this was just to say I'm starting to feel better, but I've not been myself lately. I'm getting back there and I'm hoping, hoping that this was just a blip <laughs> um, and that next time I have a baby, hopefully, and wean breastfeeding, I'll be better prepared. Um, I'm also just putting this out there as like a PSA. This is something that can happen. It hasn't happened to every person who goes through this, but um, this is gonna be quick because um, I got a baby to play with. So thank you guys so much for being patient with me here. Sorry I've been MIA, but I promise I'm coming back soon. Uh, in fact, I think I'm gonna post this on a Friday, which means I'll be back to my regular schedule next Tuesday. So look out for a cute, fun little video that Mary and I filmed actually forever ago um, on Tuesday. <laughs> I'm gonna finally get that up and then we'll be just be back into it. Vlogs on Fridays, videos on Tuesdays and whatever other shenanigans I cook up. And if you're always missing me whenever I take breaks in the future, which I'm hoping not to, but literally cannot promise anything, I am a regular cast member of the Schulte Collective, which you guys should be subscribed to. The new videos come out on that channel every Friday. <laughs> And I don't know, I'm in like 30 to 40% of them, but I edit 100% of them. So anyway, check them out. And uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Subscribe if you haven't already, because I promise you I'm coming back. I really was only gone for two weeks, I think. I think by the time I post this, it'll have just been a two week break. So wasn't that bad. Do you see this by the way? Closet clean out video coming soon. This is, this is my pajama drawer because of that pajama video I did. Like help, like help, like I need help. So um, closet clean out video coming probably in the next couple weeks. Okay, love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.